this is our condensing unit, okay? And this is kind of an interesting little uh, guy here. He almost had me fooled, but if we look inside of here, we see that we have a reversing valve. This is actually a heat pump system. It's one year old, it's five tons, okay? So, you know, so far so good. Everything's looking pretty good. Let me see if I can get over here and get a picture of the data plate. I've got a still image of it. Here's a data plate. So, what's going on? What's going on? All right, so this is the disconnect. Well, that's not pretty, you know, that's okay. That's okay. Put this back up here a little bit. Unit number three, that's us. Disconnect is not supposed to be behind the units. Disconnect is supposed to be sealed on three sides. See this foam right here around the refrigerant piping? That's good stuff. That's what you're supposed to have. See this foam over here that you do have? That's not what you're supposed to have. That's bad stuff. Okay? Whoever installed this since 2015, this foam has been required. That foam has not been approved. See these Schrader valve caps? Look that up in the dictionary. You're supposed to have anti-theft Schrader valve caps. Your caps are supposed to look like that. See these caps? Those aren't yours. These caps that are wrong, those are yours. You got the wrong caps and the wrong foam. Anything else, bud, and sealing the sides. I don't know. Something. Come on, bud. Find something. All right. Well, the good news is it's elevated three inches over off the ground. It's supposed to be. The bad news is it's just not very secure. It just bounces up here like that, you know. Kind of gives you a show. Is that going to stress your piping? It will stress your piping your foundation pad needs to be a little more secure.